Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and if you're watching, you know what time it is. It's time for A C R, the Anglage. Yeah. I don't even know what I was gonna say. You know what? I'm not even gonna try because it's time for Wanted in Bracket B of the Assassin's Creed Revelations Top Tier Tactics Xbox 360 January 2012 tournament. We're here against some pretty good competition on Castel Gandalfo, Gandalf's Magic Castle. Now I don't know. This doesn't look like Hogwarts to me, ladies and gentlemen. So. If it's Gandalf's castle, I want to know where's Gandalf, alright, where the hell's the Quidditch matches, and I love doing this to people, alright, oh, this guy wants to run up the stairs same time as me, well, oh, I'm going to close the door, oh shit, he already made it through, alright, well, my goal was to get in the way and close the door, my target's over there, Pursuer's probably close as well, and you want to be really careful, I know for a fact that Gypsy is not my Pursuer, alright, so, well, then we can just move in here and get the kill, except not, because Templar Killer 88 very aptly named, I mean, says he's a Templar killer, he killed me, I'm a Templar, I guess I call for it. Now, someone told me that I should stop using this, well, I don't even know what this guy is, was he the Sentinel, the the ex-assassin, um, I, I, I just thought he was cool, I mean, I know everyone thinks he looks cool, because he looks like um, some kind of assassin, but someone's like, oh, Wing, that's not cool, man, that's Shenmue 36 persona, you need to go back, you know, you're overstepping some boundaries here, and this is where I fucked up. Um, like I said in the last match, you know, you really should use the, the knives, and then move in, and then wait for the smoke bomb, and then get them. Um, but I didn't take my own advice, so excuse me there. So listen, Shemu36, if you're watching, I'm very sorry. I don't mean to tread on your turf, bro. I just want to mix things up a back. But I can go back to thespian. Um, I can go back to being an actor or an actress or whatever you want to call it. Freaky Chuckles here taking my persona. And you know what that means. He's getting a death sentence. Now, of course, as confident as I can act, uh, these players are quite good. But it looks like he might get trapped. There's a smoke going on. There's a stun going on. I unfortunately was not in here early enough to get the full focus bonus. Oh, oh wait, I did get it. All right. Hidden kill, incognito, focus bonus, great overall kill, 800 points. Um, now, Castel Gandalfo is interesting. There's like two areas where things tend to happen. People tend to congregate around this outside area because you can get inside, you can get outside, you get to chase breakers pretty easily. Denotalistic here. Um, now, I'm just going to drop, throw the smoke so I can go in, get the silent kill. And you see how I use kind of like not stutter stepping but just using a mix of high profile and low profile so I don't completely deplete my meter here I was trying to get this done but sometimes you could trick people if you turn and they let go of their kill button for a second and move the right stick but realistically it's not gonna happen against good players um, so there you go Templar killer um, what in second place here me in first place seven minutes 20 seconds on the clock plenty of stuff to do plenty of things to see uh, climbing up here. Now, I chose Castel Gandalfo. I think this is a favorite map of mine for another reason. There's no real roofing in Castel Gandalfo, so I don't really have a full problem with roofing. Oh my god. I was actually thinking when I was playing, you know, oh, it's pretty dumb of me to just walk in one direction without checking to make sure my pursuer's not coming in front of me. And he was probably there just waiting the whole time. Like, look at this. My quarry is coming right into me. Um, I just get the easy kill. I don't, why is it called a quarry? Like, it, it does it have the same etymological roots as quarry, like a place where you mine rocks? I don't know. Guys, I don't know this stuff. I know a lot about linguistics, but that's not one of the things I know. And it, you see, right there, I was trying to act like, oh, god damn it. I was trying to act like I wasn't his target. I was walking kind of like tangentially away from him. Um, the, gra the ground finish gives me a variety bonus. So I'm actually able to, um, to maintain my first first place lead there. I get the stun and things are going very well for me at the beginning of the match. There's still six minutes left. It's still anyone's game. And everyone knows that Wanted is the kind of match where things can turn around really quickly. All right? Now I saw that um, he, my target actually went up the stairs. I was trying to figure out there who is my pursuer. It's Dinalaristic coming out of the group for a 650 point kill. Very well done. I wasn't, I thought it might be in that walking group, but I was also afraid the person might be above me, again, setting up a drop kill, an aerial kill, or something like that. Um, so there you go. Freaky Chuckles, my new target. Now in third place, there's a very, very short spread of points between these players. I see Freaky Chuckles as they're dropping the smoke bomb. I'm trying to get in position now. Probably what I should have done there was climb up on the roof. All right, I'm trying to set up the kill here, come in, drop, I, I specifically, now you'll notice something, I specifically, the foot, the one, two feet that I walked through the chase breaker, all right, 
I ran through the chase breaker um, at the last minute to close the chase breaker behind me because I was concerned that my pursuer was in the room behind me. So it's something you can do. You can walk up to chase breaker, run through it the last second to set that off. But Blake Joko, a 1900 point kill. I'm pretty sure he didn't get stunned or killed five times in a row. I'm pretty sure he's actually that elite that he actually got a uh, kill streak bonus on me there. But Blake Draco, if you're watching this video, feel free to in the comments say, hey guys, I'm Blake Draco. Here's what actually went down. Um, let me know how you got that 1900 points. It's not like, oh, I think if someone's bad, if they get the two times score, I got plenty of two times kills in my life. I don't, I don't hold that against anyone. I'm just personally interested to in, know, was that like 550 points plus incognito plus poison? Did he get like a revenge bonus? Did he, um, I'm always interested in that stuff. Start hearing the whispers, but you don't see anyone in the immediate area, so they're probably on the other side of the wall. And remember, people on the other side of the wall, they may not be building up full incognito, but they can still be dangerous. Now here, I drop the smoke, he drops the smoke, but here he kind of makes a mistake. He walks into the edge of my smoke, because I do have, here's how I have my smoke set up. I have one time longer duration and one time longer range. I know a lot of players go with double cooldown, and I did recommend originally double cooldown. Double cooldown does drastically increase the number of times you can use smoke in a match from like 10 times to 17 times or something like that. But I, I also feel against new players, you don't need smoke as much. Against expert players, you need smoke that's going to beat their smoke. You need to outsmoke them. This is my pursuer right here because this person is walking. Look, they're not an NPC. Look the uneven way they walk to keep an even distance from me, all right? I do use Control Freak mods on my Xbox 360 controller. Oh yeah, how does that taste? Ah, ah it tastes like you just got owned. Um, what are Control Freak mods? You've probably seen them. There's stupid little nubs that you add to your 360 controller or PlayStation 3 um, that extend the range of the analog stick so that you can have more precise control. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I just feel pretty sick. All right, is this guy my pursuer? Nope. Okay, I don't think anyone is even playing as the Bombardier, but my Pursuer is somewhere close. I'm just going to go over here. One thing you'll also notice is a lot of time when I'm running, right when I pass someone, I let go of the A button. So I'm still in high profile, but I'm not in a full sprint. Why do I do that? So I can hover my finger over the B button, so if they're my Pursuer, Whoa, you like that move. So if they're my Pursuer, I can get ready to stun or contest the kill. And I'm just going to wait right here to try to set up a stun. Um, one thing people don't know is throwing knives cancel a smoke bomb charge, all right? Now my pursuer lost. I don't think he killed anyone, like killed a civilian or anything like that. I think someone just killed him or stunned him or something like that. Anyway, the point of where I was going before is that uh, throwing knives cancel out hitting gun charge. Throwing knives cancel out smoke bomb charge. Throwing knives cancel out teleport. So it really, they're really a very versatile skill. So are they the best skill? Are they as good as Mute and, and Smoke Bomb? No, but they do like 10 different things. They make people stop from moving. They make them from stop using high profile. Um, they do a lot of stuff. Now there, I just planned to use the throwing knives to kind of, and here I messed up again. I really shouldn't have tried that. I really should have just ran and forced him to chase me because I wasn't close enough to my target to make it worth it. You'll see that there's a very even spread in this game. There's 1,300 points difference in the top five players. That is very small. That's like, you know, four medium kills or two really good kills. It's really anyone's game at this point. Now there's a one minute and a half left on the clock. So there's not infinite time, but there's time for people to make up their mistakes. Time for me to make up my mistake. Luckily, my target is done here. It gives me plenty of time to just go up. But um, I actually did not anticipate that that's been Freaky Chuckles there was my killer. I didn't think that with the whispers of that strength that Freaky Chuckles could possibly be my, be my killer. And so Freaky Chuckles played it really cool. He didn't move directly towards me. And this is something you'll see. A good player will kind of move tangentially to you at a 90 degree angle so that you're, you don't believe that they're your pursuer. Now I don't know why I originally dropped the smoke bomb there. It's kind of a waste. Um, there we go. I don't know, it was kind of a waste. I thought someone was possibly behind me at the time. But they weren't. Now, once you kind of mess up, you drop the smoke bomb, you mess up. If you know which characters aren't your uh, pursuers, just move in that direction. I'm pretty sure this is my pursuer. See, he knows that I know it's him, so he's going to move away from me. I'm going to try to set the noob stun here, all right, and wait for it. But look at this. The expert play, dropping the smoke bomb at the corner to move in for the kill. 
this is when you know you're playing against good players, and I may have kind of handed their ass to them in the first match of, match of Deathmatch, but in Corruption, we saw them come back, all right, for some excellent play, and in this match, we saw excellent, excellent play. Great play from everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Wingspan TT, TopTierTactics.com. This is Assassin's Creed Revelations. This is the end of the Brotherhood Tournament. Um, bracket B. I hope you enjoyed this whole bracket. I hope, congratulations to everyone who played. You did an excellent job. Great gameplay from everyone. You put up a hell of a fucking fight. Um, and I'm proud to see you in this tournament. Everyone, I'd also like to personally apologize to you for putting up with my, you know, subpar commentary with my coughing and snorting and all that. Uh, I hope you know normally I wouldn't put you through this and people are like, Wing, how come you don't put up more videos? How come you don't, um, you know, put up more videos. It's because, you know, right now I'm being forced to just put up every match no matter what happens. But normally I like to find the best matches possible with the most interesting outcomes and the ones where I do the best commentary. So I may record 10 matches and leave just one that I'm happy with. Or I might get a bunch of footage, but, you know, maybe the camera angles are bad or I mess up the audio or something like that. So I, I want to personally apologize for the subpar audio, but personally thank you for watching this tournament. I'd like to once again thank everyone for participating in bracket B of this tournament. Um, I'm Wingspan TT, and I'm signing off.